to cancel the uh, the cereal, bro. <laughs> nah, CBS. <laughs> yo, I actually entered that tournament. I mean, I went 0 and 2, but I had a lot of fun. <laughs> nah, CBS 2 is kind of dope. CBS 0 and 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it made me want to start entering more uh, online tournaments. Well, you got a few weeks. Yeah. Alright. Until the evolution commences. Alright. Uh, I don't know if you're logged on to Twitch yet, but I just want to go over last week's top eight. You got like a couple right. minutes, so I'm gonna pop that up on the screen real quick. All right, just gotta wait for this Mortal Kombat ad to finish. Mortal Kombat ad? Are you serious? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> it looks cool. I hope it's good. I hope it's decent. Yeah. It doesn't have to be great. If it's great, that's awesome. But yo, I wanted to get at least. At least 60% on Rotten Tomatoes. Kill right here. <laughs> Yo, X64, I was surprised to not see you on the bracket. What, he's not playing tonight? He's not there, Yito's not there. I'm like, what the hell? That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I mean, it hasn't started yet, X64. You should try. But I, like, I already seeded it. So anyway, last week's results, we can start from the bottom. Of the top eight. So we had Reno and H0. Let me put this music down a little bit. Yeah, so we had Reno and H0. Um, who did they lose to? So Okudo and X64 took out Reno. That's good. That's some good wins. And then H0 was taken out by Choi and Yito. That's tough. But that was a close set, right? Uh, the Yito one, yes. Yeah, that's that pretty was very good. close. Yeah, I think and, A uh, is good at that match, I guess, or Choi, good at fighting Choi's Ito. Been, uh, Choi's been beating A Zero as also got pretty consistently now. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up, Zach? Hey. Hello. How's my audio? You're good. It's good. Good. All right. Mm. Cool. Yeah, we're just going over. Sorry, I'm like eating chips, but we're going over. You, know, uh, you should tell uh, Yito. Since he plays Old Ken, that his custom Old Ken color is in the two slot. Nito does not play Old Ken. That's H zero. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I apologize. Uh, H, it's H zero's custom Old Ken color. I can't find him on Discord anymore. Um, uh, I'll let her, What do you want me to say? What do you want me to tell uh, him? Tell him that his his custom Old Ken color is in it's slot two, right, Damn Die? I think yours yeah. is in slot one. So yeah. H zero's custom slot, uh, custom Old Ken color is in slot two. That way he can pick that. Well, I don't think he's going to play Old Ken today. Um, well, he, he might if he runs into a claw, won't he? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just, just figure let him know, right? Okay. okay. So, Yito got taken out by Kyoya and Hakuto. So, the mech team kill. All good. Uh, X64 getting that strong fifth place as well. Just losing to Pit and Choi. Damn. Wait, Pit didn't... So Pitt took him out, but didn't make the top eight. So X64 just ran like a strong loser's run, huh? Yeah. He pulled a Choi. <laughs> the old school Choi thing is you lose like your very first game, and then you just run it all back to the grand finals from losers. That's, that's what Sonic Fox does nowadays. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and what, what game is he playing now? Everything? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh... I, I followed him in MK10. He was fun to watch in that. Yeah. Yeah, he just, he just won some... Uh... $50,000 Mortal Kombat 11 tournament. 50,000 wow. troll coin. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was insane in MK10. I'll have to check uh, that out. We should get him on. Yeah, he, he dominates the NRS games. Gotta get, him into, gotta, get, gotta get him into ST, bro. Imagine. He's gonna, he's gonna be the kind of guy you hate. He's gonna pick up the game, and in two weeks, he's gonna be, like, destroying everyone with claw or something. He's gonna be like, God damn it. You I'd know. like to see it. Yeah, no, that would be hype. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I don't care what character you use. Just just have him play. That should be hype. All right, moving on. So, Choi Boy got fourth, losing to Damn Dai Okudo. All right. I think this is your first third place finish, right? Or, I, I mean, apart from that one weird Cigar Bob Cinderella story that we had. Right. Yeah, <laughs> this is like your... Uh, hey, man, I'd have to go back and see. Yeah. Um, yeah, last week's results really affected probably the overall point system. Like, everyone is... 
like this is the top three right here basically in terms of points yeah it wasn't too bad me getting third i, I think that just allowed hakuto to gain 10 points on on the the gap so oh. it's not the end of the world and you know super rv is still kind of back there but if he wins a few more first places he's he's got a shot Wait, is it Super RV or Super V? It's Super, Super, v. It's, Super RV. You said Super RV, but I didn't it's yell at you like you yelled at me. It's totally habit. It. It's, it's okay, Rhizone. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you called me Rhizone fucking 10 years ago or whatever it was. Yeah, I think I did. No one ever <laughs> told me how to pronounce your name. So I was like, oh, it's Rhizone. I mean, you know, well, Cam on, right. you know, pastrami on Rhizone. <laughs> <laughs> really... And then, uh, and then Hakuto. Uh, getting second, Super V just so consistent against this guy. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crazy. Uh, really so Hokuto uh, did beat him in the tournament like just an hour before this one. Right, right. It was a tournament an hour ago? Really? No, yeah, an like, hour. Maybe a day. It was yeah. a day before this one. It was on Tuesday, right? Oh, the, yeah. the Monday night fights, you mean? No. The, no, uh, it was last Tuesday. Dreamhack? Uh, right before oh, the right. qualifiers. Yeah, right before the Wednesday night fight qualifier. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And then so Super V won without without a bracket reset, just straight up won his five sets. So Yeah, his first win. Yeah, first win, so congrats to him. And tonight's bracket, what do we got? There's a lot less entrance um this week. I feel like we're like short ten entrants, at least from the last time I've seen, but kinda like this quadrant, you know, Super V is gonna be holding it down. Um, he does have some some of the usual suspects up here, like Decoy, Kayla. I thought you said Super V wasn't in it. No, I said X64 and Yito aren't in it. Ah. Oh, you're scared again? <laughs> no, I wanted, I wanted Super V to not be in it. <laughs> well, he but he can help you with Hakuto if you need. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. I'd rather fight Hakuto at this point, maybe. All right, let, let, me, ask, let me ask Alice if it's too late. Did anyone uh, able to get get in contact with uh, H Zero? Let him know about his custom. I, I told him, but he okay. didn't respond. But I told him nonetheless. Right. No, and a guy. This is. Uh, I think there's two more. After this, four, five. Six, uh, yeah, I think there's two. I think there's two more. Yeah. Yeah. Is it too late to let X sixty four in? He wants to join. I uh, just asked Alex if it's possible. So. Yeah, it'd be cool to have you, X sixty four. Yeah. Um, oh, all right. Some of the matches are getting called. Actually, oh, shit. It's already 7 o'clock. So, yeah, I guess we're about to get into it. The first match we're going to have on stream will be Ultima Orok versus Safri. Safri. Don't know either of these two players. It'll be interesting. Saf. Damn it. What's Safri's name on Fightcade? Yeah, what's up, guys? Um, oh, what's up, Ona guy? Sorry, I didn't read the chat at all for the last like 10 minutes. Rockman wants in as well. Oh man, Mega Man for the first time in a year. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, we're just trying to get Safri's ID. Uh, I'm not sure. All right. While we figure out what his actual name is. What? Who is uh, who's Safri on Fightcade? Safri. We need a rule to have people have their Fightcade names the same as their sign-in names. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like tournament one and one. <laughs> All right, I'll give it another minute. Otherwise, we're going to start the other match. So let me let him know. And then otherwise, let's get Demonio Debian versus Hangif. Is that Hangif? Some teacher person. Yeah, Hangif, my teacher. From Tokyo, Japan. That's what his profile says. Uh, sorry guys. Always off to a slow start. Hungief's name is different too. 
I, yeah, I yep. don't see. I don't Come see. Come on, guys. Man, yeah, this is. Make them update their name. Yeah, if everyone in the chat could just have their names match, it'd be great. But yeah, the bracket is shared so you guys can see if you're going to be playing on stream, off stream. All right, Demonio's. All right, we're, we're finally going to get a match, guys. And joining me, we got the this week's palette creators, I guess. <laughs> Because you, you suggested that Ken color, right? I'll, I'll be okay. curious to see what folks in yeah. that chat think of the Dandai's Ken color. It's on it's on review. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what people think. Well, to be fair, didn't you already have that color? And I said, I like that. Let's make that old Ken. Bro, I mean, regardless, it, I like it, the color. It existed in the pool. Yeah, it was in the pool of like candidate colors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, who the fuck doesn't like off-white? I don't understand. Super V, apparently. I, I no, he just won't like what? anything that I like. <laughs> oh, Dean, are we? Right, yeah, they're in, yeah, they're in there. I can't, I can't, I can't fucking type three. I keep typing first to four. <laughs> <laughs> I typed that shit like five well, times. This is gonna be a really hard match for uh, Zangief. I mean, Demonio is an excellent chime, and Zangief I think is a good, uh, good Zangief, but um, there's, you need a lot of precision like tight tricks i think to to beat chun and uh so it'll be interesting to see if we can pull it out those are both off whites mega man anything that's not pure white but still white is off white cream. yeah rockman i agree it's cream it, basically it's a cr damien's d you know it's d damien's cream <laughs> uh <What? deep> cream <laughs> Yeah, Casuals, everything Damien. around me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, Damien, dollar dollar bill, y'all. Damien's D cream, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Cigar said. Uh, so this this matchup, I think it's very winnable for Zangief. Uh, oh, is uh, it? Cigar, I'm trolling me a little bit in chat, but it's very winnable. Um, and I think you know, you one thing you have to really be able to do as Zangief is. Um, so w one thing that Vodka does really well is he does the standing jabs that are interrupted to stun lock you in place. That's a very key thing to do. Another thing is you really, ha when you get in that one time with Geef, you really have to make it count and, and be able to win off that. And I think that's, if you can let like chun -Li out of her cage even once, um, you might end up just losing it. Oh man, here's a chance. Oh, he misses super. We know what you wanted, I Demonio. <laughs> what? And that was a lot of a lot of happening there. Um, All right. Now, one thing that de uh, it'll be interesting to see how Demonio deals with the lariats. Um, you, if you don't have super, you can just low roundhouse that lariat. Uh, and another thing that he can do is uh, for Zangief sweeps that he's doing there. You can use a low short to stuff those directly, or on reaction, you can punish them with a low forward. I think you can actually link a low forward in the low, low roundhouse, but I haven't been able oh. to. But I think in principle that might, might be doable for a bigger punch. Yo, Zaz, when are you going to bust out that 2021 tech that we did, bro, with Chun? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah when when are we going to do that? <laughs> the world has not even seen that shit yet. <laughs> <laughs> when? So, you know, um, now, you, you see how um, Jangief there is just doing those lariats? Uh, Demonio should be sweeping those with low roundhouse, I think. But nice, okay, nice stand forward is anti. Oh, wow, the first one that didn't trade. Hey, man, that's the one that matters. We, we don't want no double KO. We ain't trying to go to round four. <laughs> yeah, I think Jangief Jeng, definitely has the possibility to win these. Um, <laughs> I mean, just the fact that he's getting in two, three times a round, I think, could mean that he, he should be able to win this. Yo, you said his name like four different times. We've been live for like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That could have been a, a SPD, but he oh, got wow. what? Jesus, Demonia, what are you doing, buddy? Yo, that Man, what? Was waiting to eat an SPD. <laughs> oh, that, that was painful to watch. Okay, now Chun's got super. Yeah, good use. So he's probably just going to wait to chip out there. He's going to do the usual, yep, right there. It didn't quite chip out, but medium now it's medium to uh, trade. Yeah, do it. 
Also, shout out to Canada KOF for being around at this hour. This is rare. Nice Good knockdown. Jump, a oh. neutral roundhouse there. That's oh. a big air against uh, Zangief there. I like that move. No, unfortunately, he wasn't able to follow up. Yeah, he shouldn't have gone for a mix-up there. Chun yeah. can't escape an SPD attempt. That's right. Well, she could. She could do a spinning bird kick, but even then, that could be punished on hit. Oh, well, that's oh, a Demodio yeah. special. We know that. <laughs> okay, there he's got... Man, Demonio's taking a lot of risks, but okay. Uh... Oh, oh, okay, that was smart. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was interesting because that wasn't actually a jump forward. It was a jump neutral uh, stomp, which I've never seen before. Usually it's jump forward. Oh, shit. Was that an accident? He's going for 10. Okay. This is one of the new the new Ken colors, actually, that we were working on, I think. Oh. That's... Uh, Oh, yeah. What? Well, why F3? That was supposed to be turbo? Did he want to pick uh, Old Ken, maybe? Are we going to see uh, the D cream? The creamy D? <laughs> yeah, not only is F2 better not to reset turbo, but it's also faster to get back into the game. You don't have to go through all this shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, what up, Norman? Subscribe for 10 power months. Up L Zero and power up R. Power up R. <laughs> Yo, what up, kill me please? Nice. I like that stand roundhouse there by Demonio. That's one of my favorite anti-airs against Zangief. You, you have to do it early on, but it uh, has, commands a ton of room and it's really hard for Zangief to kill. And it hits him on the ground too. Yeah, I can't believe it's been 10 months. Ridiculous. Oh, oh nice, but it didn't combo. He yeah, didn't Nambos. Even SPD there. Oh. <laughs> that should have been a free SPD for uh, Zangief. <laughs> Yeah, this is the World Warrior Chumley, y'all. Here we go. What are you doing? Yo, SPD that, please. I don't care if it hits. Even on hit, even so after taking that three-hit combo, he could eat a free SPD. There. Yeah, I'm so sick of seeing that combo. <laughs> it's not optimal. not optimal. Damn it. Uh, and he's just waiting for the super there, but he could have low roundhouse. Hell, uh, neutral medium kick for the win. All right. Demonio takes that one. Sprite likes that orange on Chun. That's the World Warrior orange sprite that was made. Uh, you know, if in the in World Warrior, if you when Chun's uh, character select, she's actually orange. So the idea was to give a nod to that. Orange, you glad? All right. So, oh shit, we got a Shoto match coming up next. This is gonna be a good one. All right. So we got Cross versus Frank Punches, and then Damien, you're gonna fight the winner of the match we just saw. So you can just play it now i guess okay yeah i'll be back to a minute to Oi. all right so yeah up next we're gonna get uh oh wait frank punches i think is also gonna dq himself isn't he dang it how many dqs tonight hold on let me figure this out guys all right let's go ahead and do uh cigar bob versus fack it looks like um Is Fak a claw player, I think? Yes. Okay, this'll be an interesting one. That's on paper feels just completely impossible for Geef, but in Japan I played a pony and it was just like destroyed every claw I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Any news on the next two X in the mirror? If you're talking about mirror or flesh, two different ones. Oh, Punches is here? Didn't he say to DQ him? Jesus, man. Okay, I'm not seeing Bob in game yet. Yeah, he said, can you let them know to DQ me, Frank Punches, so... Yeah, Punches has been here. He's been playing Super V this whole time. They've just been playing a set. Yeah, I mean, I guess he can't commit to uh, tomorrow, so. Hmm. Sorry, guys. There's been more downtime than actual games today. If there was only a format that had no downtime and just, like, <laughs> games, it'd be, wow, I, I just wish that existed. Like, uh, I guess. Named it... after a country, maybe? <laughs> Sounds cheesy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 
If only there was like a strong US Zangief player that could hold that, that format down and make it quickly. All right, let me go ahead and see. Uh, you know what? Yeah, what what the hell happened to uh, Cigar Bob? All right. Yeah, this is some uh, quality tournament play we're looking at, folks. Uh, this is yeah, sick, cool. sick, yeah. sick button checks. I thought they were actually playing a game. All right, Cigar Bob was dropping a log. Uh, so thanks for that detail, Cigar. Oh, is he back? Oh. Yeah, go, 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 go. Next time, uh, that, that's what that's what the bucket near your computer is for, Cigar. <laughs> yeah, we we haven't had we haven't had Super Turbo on Wednesday night fights in a few weeks. Everyone forgot how to play. All right, he says he's starting. Okay. I we do not see him. I'm looking for a D-ranked Zangief, but I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Uh, check out A0 just sent a message in the chat. Is that correct? Uh, for A0, I'm telling him, well, yes, it's different for, for this set. All right, so we got Flack versus Bob. I feel good about Bob winning this match. Definitely has a lot of confidence fighting Claw. He knows all the punishes. So I'll do all that crazy air-to-air -air stuff. Crouch fierce, like right there. Yeah, you have to be able to flip kick uh, those uh, Zengi jump into every yep. single men, but... Once you got, ooh, very dangerous to do the doink. Really dangerous. He could have walked up and gotten thrown. And this might just be a super, very oh, nice. Oh, yeah, missed the super. Not sure if any trade will do it. And, oh. <laughs> and, uh, so what Claw wants to do here is actually you want to do wall dives, but you want to hug the wall as close as possible and then just move a tiny pixel out to hit with the tip of the claw and just do chip damage that way. There's never any reason to get any closer because you're just going to end up eating a lariat and dying. I mean, it's a really mistake to try to get close to, to, to D or try to do, like, ambiguous wall types. Oh, I was going to say, starting the round with a Lariat almost gave him the whole round, but backs out a chance, not with these doinks. Yeah. Okay. They're going to they're gonna catch up to you. Yeah. Ah, bad trade. Yeah, okay. So okay. Bob's doing the uh, Japanese tech of the advanced low fierce to stop that strategy I just discussed. I really like effects use of the uh, oh that, the flip kick to get out of that. Yeah, Very not nice. a lot of damage on that. Oh, no. oh, oh my god, that could have went. That could have yeah. gone south real quick. Yeah. Another move to really think about for Claw is a stand roundhouse is fantastic anti-air versus deep. So just you don't <laughs> need to be crouching all the time as Claw. Like just right here where you spot like that, <laughs> stand roundhouse work. I don't know why it's so, it's so funny to me. <laughs> wow, good use of points. No. No. This is exactly what I'm talking about. He did an unnecessary ambiguous cross-up and now he gave Bob a chance to get in. Very good, very good. Yeah, I, th I think he fact played super well. Um, just maybe that one mistake of trying to go for the ambiguous dives. Yo, he hits more doinks than he does wall dives. It's crazy. Yeah, well, it's the the thing is the doink is beating Sabar's strategy, the anti wall dive of doing uh, walk up low fierce. So it's a smart play by fact to do that. Yeah, good anti air. I really like that jump neutral uh, medium kick. Good. Yeah, we'll really? take that trade. Does it get the there, knockout? There, That's that good. Was, yeah. Oh, deep. Do Let's that. go. Don't do that yep. back. No. You're doing so well. Just ah! don't. Do oh, man. Okay. He still got out. Ah! There. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, great reversal. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Retreat. <laughs> wow. Such good use of the doings. Really. Fact really uh, 
kind of going on the second level of Yomi here. He's going to have to buy Serlin's book. <laughs> uh -oh. What's the ISBN on that? <laughs> oh, there we go. The punish on that cross-up. There's no reason, kids. Don't do this at home. Never try these cross-ups on TV. It's not Don't do it at home. Don't do it at the arcade. Just, oh, no. That's going to be it. Oh, he missed it. Everything to, to lose and nothing to gain. Just sit back and go for shutdown. Ooh, slide. Very nice escape there. And Bob had correctly predicted the slides. It's painful for him that he didn't get a punish on that. But I think he's just going to be able to wait on back to do his wall dives. I feel like a fax uh, execution is great, but his strategy is lacking. You know, it's like if he just changed his what he was trying to do, um, he'd be you know, really dominant. Oh, wow, oh he, he beat the crouch version to super. Yo, well, now, he still needs two away. hits. He still needs two of those. There goes one. Oh, Yo, boy. double KO. Might as, might as well go for it. Oh, <laughs> Rojo boys. Uh, Rojo perfecto. I'm gonna step out after this this match, but I'll, I'll be back. Yeah, no so, doubt. We at, are we at two to yeah two to one? So one more by Fac. I, I think Fac's doing really well here. Um, I'm, I actually thought Cigar might win this, one, but uh, now I have to give it to Fac. Great, there, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That wall dive, close wall, and just do the chip. Just do that over and over. Yo, the reaction doinks. I don't think that was reactive. I think he just had that can. Yo, um, if he could do this, this is a bit of an upset. He's doing really, you know, that 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 doing play is great because it's really shutting down Bob's answer for the dive. Oh, so. nice slide. Yep. Get out of there. Oh, oh right there. yeah, get out of there. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, uh. What, wait, what? Yo, what's Bob doing? He trying to fake confirm that? So you saw how Bob did that uh, walk up low fierce. That's just what he's doing to stop the dive strike. Oh, nice jump, MP. Yep, good. Missed good. SPD there. He saw the walk up, but. Super, don't go for the super effect, but I, you know he's trying. Oh, wait, yo, he's about to win it. Nah, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Nah, nah. I would be on tilt. Get out of there. Don't doink. Oh, double. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yo. <laughs> good, good. And there it is again. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that was... you... Don't do it, fact. Oh, man. Yo. It's like watching a horror movie and watching the guy go up the stairs where the monster is. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. The monster got him. The monster got him that time. But it's still match point, though. That's only round three. He's still got one more. He's still got one more. If he just does what he's doing but doesn't do the cross-up dives, I'll be Yo, fine. what a roundhouse. That's what I was talking about. The stand roundhouse is fantastic. This is also, uh, far standing fierce is also Get out of there. Oh, nice two-hitter. Yeah, I didn't even know that you could do that with a... Good escape. Wow. Oh no, that slide was yo. Oh, nice cross yours. Yep. Doink. Doink Whoa, he Just missed the stand jab. Yeah, he's out. Oh god, cross oh, fierce. God. I'm doing that. Get out of there. <laughs> Just no. Oh my god, this is gonna be it. That's it. I'm on the yeah. edge of my seat. That's oh. it. <laughs> and beautiful uh, close by Bob there. Damn, back. So like if you go back and watch this afterwards and you watch the stream, I'm telling you just don't do those cross-up dives and you will be. He ready. had match point. Yo, he had match point like three rounds already. <laughs> so he can slide. Every time you see a, a Lariat by Geef there, that's a free slide for Claw. Free. Oh. Time. Good, good. I like that use of the low medium. Yeah, he almost got punished on hit on that doing. Yeah, yeah you can actually get punished on hit. If you do that from like three quarter screen or closer, it's a punish on hit. Oh, nice slip out. Very nice getting out. Yep. Get out of there. Get out of there. He's walking. <laughs> nice MP. Slide. No. Oh, that's going to be green hit. Oh, wow. Yo, he had the guts. Still got a chance. Oh, he's about to take the no. round. No, 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 no. <laughs> Are we Dalsim out here? Yo, that job was stupid fast. Yeah, that jab just beats everything. Anti Geese actually got some of the strongest anti air normals in the game. People don't really realize that. Yo, that jab was dumb fast. It's a close one. Oh, and the oh man. GG's. Oh, man.
pain. Well, I mean, Bob played it really well and he did what he had to do, but I have to say it's, man, fact, I feel like that was just, like I said, a great execution, but poor strategy. Just cut that, those cross-up ball dives from your game and you'll be doing so much better. Cut it out. All right. I'm going to step out for a couple of matches, but I'll be back uh, a little bit later. Yeah, for sure. All, All right. right. See you, Zayas. Thanks, Zayas. All right. Up next, hey. we're going to get Choi Boy versus uh, Climax. <clears throat> let, me, let me just see if Choi's in another game. He's not. He's available. Normally, when we're doing Alpha 2, he's always in an ST game. <laughs> So I guess when he gets in the game now, all the you know alpha people will be looking for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Roy? Do you on that golf shit? Putting, putting boys. Yeah. How's your match? It was good. Demonio's. Um, it's a challenge fighting his chun. Oh, that's good. Got to be careful. It was three one. Nice. Well, you're going to be set to fight the winner of this match. Is that right? No, no, not, fight, the, no not the fight Bob. Yeah, you fight Bob. Oh, that's a run back. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <clears throat> All right, let's get our predictions up. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I haven't seen Climax in a while either. Yeah, it has been a while. Let's see how John handles this boxer. He's been playing a ton with Super V. Yeah, Super V has clones or some shit. I feel like he's always playing like everybody. He's playing a lot. Yeah. Yes. Gotta see how many hours he got clocked in. Oh, nice with the five five or the first hitter tournament. We take those. Oh, nice punish. You're going to get a safe jump. Low forward mix up? Nah, just throw. I like it. All right, this time, safe jump again. Yeah, this time he went low. Good block on climax part. All right, he's going to get a setup. Oh, didn't install Shiki upper. Pay the mm -hmm. price. Yeah, if you're going to safe jump Ryu, always install Crouch Fierce. Free option select. Beats out Tatsu. Don't let him do wake up Tatsu for free. Oh, yo, what up, Tiger Lily? For the host. Yo, Climax coming through with the rushes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that box are random. All right, we're going to see an Oh, We're not going to see an Ultigot. I'd like to see his Guile on this. That'll be fun. Yeah, I like watching Choi's gal. Yeah. That, I match... don't think that, affects... that doesn't affect ours, though, Cigar Bob. I'm pretty sure. Yes, yeah, hours played, right? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Are we going to go for. Oh, yeah. Custom. Spe dude. Yeah, character specific combos there. That doesn't work on everybody. Oh, big jump. Nice cross fierce, but 50-50 time. You got to be careful of the headbutt. Oh. Blue uh, fireball coming through. Been a headbutt. <laughs> yeah. If that was a headbutt, you would have had a 50-50 into the game. So that was definitely risky, but good call on Choi. Yeah. Going for that throw again. There goes the mix-up. And just throw for the win. No, overhead. Mm. Yeah, that's another setup. It's like safe jump, medium kick, instant overhead. Just do like toward medium punch. It beats reversal throw. And if they crouch, they'll get hit as well. And then you just do rush punch throw after. Which uh, uh, happened when Daigo fought Tamashima. And then Choi is the only other Ryu I've ever seen do that exact sequence. Mm. The right, oh, nice safe jump. Damn, Climax, you got to take those throws, bro. What are you doing? Yeah, he's not even crouch-teching. 
Not even crouch checking, y'all. <laughs> ah, that one hit twice. That sucked. That's not what he wanted. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah. Oh, all right. Here we go. Mix up city. Miss a safe jump. And then also misses cheeky upper, but still coming out alive. Our early super from John. Yeah, it's okay. It's kind of hard to use it against Boxer. Out, you know, you have to guess. Yeah, so, that's fair. Yeah, get the chip. Yeah, even when you're cornered, it's hard to like actually get out with super because Boxer can just headbutt, mm -hmm. like oftentimes. So yeah, very is difficult to use uh, Ryu super. It's only if you're buffering and you see like, like some situation like that where you're hurrah and you just press punch. That's yeah, that's really online though. Yeah, I mean offline, I fucking DP these rushes. <laughs> online, I can't uh, do none no. of that. Nice. Yeah, I'm hoping that when we go to offline, it's gonna be like crazy. Everything's gonna be in slow motion. Yeah, it's gonna be like the Matrix. All right. Wow, missed a headbutt probably. Mm. Two one, Choi boy. Oh yeah, X64 is a heads up. So signups close at 6.30, so that's why you missed the mark. Sorry about that. Very hard to DP boxes jumping. Yeah. Because by the time you're done thinking about if it's going to work or not, it's already too late. Yeah, not only is his jump low, but he's got that whatever roundhouse or fierce that is that just oh! sucks the guy from roundhouse. Checkmate, yeah. That was unfortunate. I think, like, if he jumped back roundhouse, that should have beaten the super. Yeah, or it could have been less hits on the super. The way that it juggled, you know, just got mm -hmm. hit by everything. I don't know if John empty back jumped or yeah. just beat it. Oh, nice reversal throw. We don't tech throws. We reverse them. That's what I like to see. Yo, what's up, noble boy? Oh. Gotta be careful with these sweep at the fireballs now. All right, nice. 55 it. No! <laughs> no, that round never happened, guys. All right, choice at match point. Three. Yeah, I knew you had the three ready. <laughs> nice punish there. No red, but it's all right. Oh, three hits. No, just two. Nice, getting out the corner. Uh, even though he lost that, that was sick. To know that, oh shit, I'm in the corner, I can get out. This Choi yeah, I mean, I guess he can go for the meaty there, but you risk getting DP'd or thrown. Yeah. Uh, I guess the safest would be a jump back jab or something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could just, like, jump out of there. Yo, what up, Super Colonel? Thanks for the sub, appreciate that. All right. Yeah, so Choi moves on. Hold on. Actually, we haven't looked at the bracket or anything in a while, so let me load it up. See where we're at. So we got a little bit of DQs tonight. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see Frank punches, but we will this Friday. Oh, yeah, we will. So decoy moving on. Uh, looks like Super V and Jizzy B happening. What is it? 2-1 right now? What's going on? All right. Uh, Troy just moved on. H and C King is probably happening currently. Hakudo's on a fight cross. That's another run back from the previous Super Lucha. And mm. then a run back with you and Cigar Bob. And we just got some other losers matches that are still on the way. So tonight we're gonna complete the qualifiers for this top eight. <clears throat> and then Real uh, decoy over Dell is good. That's a tough match for Blanca. Yeah. Oh three one. Oh shit, yo, Super V over Jizzy B three two. Mm. Oh, close one. Who's Jizzy B? So apparently someone's got some lore on that, but I don't know. I wasn't told it. Sorry. You got nothing? I got nada. Not this time. Nothing? Nah. Jizzy B. <laughs> and then there's also a uh, a Matrino, guys. So right now... Oh, shit. Let me sign in. Right now it's at 650, but there is a promo code. Jizzy is learning ST. Jizzy B is a person. Let's just say Jizzy came from another game. Is Where Jizzy uh, Zaza? No, it said, oh, where he was the absolute best. I see the pun in there. 
if if they're referring to uh that absolution tournament uh, anyway Maturino use this promo code guys it's super fast to do and I guarantee like you're not gonna be stressed at all just copy this code into here and hit contribute and where's the coupon code add 50 cents to the pot yeah easy easy yeah. money like John Connor said in T2 easy money for the players of course not for me because I'm not a player I'm just the guy that helps you know the players get money you're so. a sayer. <laughs> yeah I'm a sayer. <laughs> But yeah, um, just check out the Maturino, and then there's also uh, other tournaments as well that are happening. So you can see the links here and stuff. So let's support the other games too. But yeah, if everyone take a couple of seconds, oh look at that, we're already at eight dollars. So that means eight fifty now. Let's go. Yeah, appreciate that. Um, all right. Real money, real prizes. Let's go. Got my one dollar. I'll buy that for a dollar. There you go, Baka. All right, let's get into the next game, which will be pretty much we're at the quali almost all the qualifying spots. So let's go ahead and do Super V versus Real Decoy. Your current champion versus Real Decoy. Whoop. Whoop. Unless if you want to get your match out the way, so that way you can do commentary for the rest. Let me know. Oh, uh, I don't care. Okay. It's up to up to you. Oh, yeah. I mean, normally I just go in order, but. <clears throat> Yo, what up, Carabano? How come you didn't enter, bro? All right. Yeah, Super V versus the fakest of real decoys. All right, they just got in there. All right. Who are you rooting for on this one? I mean, not who are you rooting for, but who do you think is favored super v matchup wise and well i guess it's it's such a i mean super v is like he's hot right now and it's a uh, very bad matchup for blanca so this is near impossible for real decoy but we'll see what he can do oh shit uh mega man with the 10 10 dollars set of pot he said here's my tesla fund damn die <laughs> thanks ant all right, let's see. I, I gotta try and watch this and give Real Decoy some tips, but I don't know if I'll be able to give much on this. Yeah, it's it's really it's a difficult match because Blanca doesn't have anything safe. Yeah, like you you have to take a risk, and when you get in, even even after getting in, it's still hard to get those tick setups because because of how skinny he is. Yo, what's up, OC Rider? When are we gonna see some OC Rider on ST? That's all I gotta say. There's no custom combos, but I mean, you could you could make custom combos up if you want. That's what I do. That's it. Oh, no punish though. Oh man, it doesn't even get all the hits. It's so horrible. It's like Blanca gets to to block with normal. Like he gets to make Super V block normals, but for every normal that Super V blocks, he gets a free chip. <laughs> it's really awful. It's like if you if you can make him block a jump in you got to go for bite yeah yeah exactly unless if you're going for the big brain stuff where you're like jumping and then sweep to get the knockdown and resetting it, it depends on like life bar how many rounds in you yeah, are the feeling it, but... super rv how he's reacting to those block jump ins <laughs> look at that every 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 slide he gets chip in return man very hard match OC Rider's pants or 90s? Is he wearing the backwards like crisscross? <laughs> you ever did that, Damien? I did not do that. Yes, you know. did. You wore your oh, white tee. Yo, you wore your white tee backwards. You wore your <laughs> pants backwards, and you had your flip flops on the wrong feet. I think crisscross are the only ones that did that. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> Catch on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I taught us the next level lore. All right, anyway. All right, we wearing them down though. Oh, no whiff punish there on the slide. <laughs> hop, hop right into the headbutt. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, into his come own. on. Union Square giving out free hugs out here. Like, what's up? 
Did they still, did they still do that in the score? Does Blanca even have an anti-air against Boxer's jumping? Uh, I don't know, Stan Fierce? Like a close one? Hmm. Yeah, even the slide is not really great. Like on block. Punish even? If, if it's really close, yeah. All right, here we go. Setup time. He didn't take the bite. Oh, here we go. This time, are we going to bite? Ah, uh, damn it. Hmm, he might have been trying it there. Yeah, he tried. I think he did a crouching medium kick, though. Like, crouching short makes it much harder to reversal through. Hmm. Crouching medium kick is easier to see the gap. Yeah, OC Rider. Super V's is the reigning champ right now. He's uh he's got hot hands. Yeah, well uh, Boxer's the reigning champion. <laughs> <laughs> Super RV, he just chose the right vehicle. Chose the RV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what a paper cut. Super RV is like that dude when you go to do go karts. And someone's go kart is just like so much faster than the others. <laughs> 500 horsepower. Yeah, he just picked the right go kart. <laughs> go kart jack. <laughs> well, Damn Dad had a whole week to think of that analogy, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to do the Super V Kumite. Put him in his place. Oh, nice! There we go, the mix-up, but oh, still didn't go a, for the bite. Dizzy. Why, are you, why are you dizzy? Ficade. <laughs> Yo, I told you! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the Ficade stun values are not the same as Arcade. Oh, here we go, we got the round. Let's go. Alright. Yo, what do you do if there's like... Electricity, you know, on the panels, just low rush that shit. Guaranteed safe. It's because boxers are wearing rubber gloves. <laughs> rubber conducts electricity, y'all. Remember that. No, rubber does not conduct electricity. <laughs> That's why it works. <laughs> rubber does not. What are you? What are you? Know what I, you know science. Whatever. Yeah, that's the, that's the trip guard shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, damn, Super V taking that one. Good yeah, shit, tough man. match. That's like that's just where you don't use Blanca anymore. What do you mean you don't use Blanca? How do you just lose a whole character because of one character? I mean, that's the game. Oh. All right. The more you know. All right, let me see if we got Choi in a game yet. And if we don't, I don't see him in a game. Do you see him in a damn, game? Damn, Choi 8 0 again? This is like always happening now. Yeah, that's the way it goes. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and do Choi versus H. Cero. It's going to be uh, Old Sagat versus Rue, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, how was the score their last one? Uh, 3 0. Oh, shit. That's good for Choi. Because I know. Yeah, I, think was, I think it was 3 0 the time before that, also. That's what's up. Yeah, I remember it looked a little bit shaky the first time around, but I guess Choi's now, you know, got the download. Yeah, we grinded that match quite a bit. Both sides. There goes that tiger shot. All right, prediction. H0, a.k.a. HMX. X going to give it to you. Oh, short talk to DP. That's a damn die tech. <clears throat> oh, miss a, miss a punish there. Oh, wow. Could have probably done low forward tiger knee, but... <laughs> it's so frustrating how many tiger knees 8-0 gets away with. It's crazy. He's got a good timing with that. Give him that. I mean, he's definitely looking for a pattern. Like, yeah. you don't see, you yeah. don't see any other Ulta God do that with that kind of consistency. Yeah, for, for sure, he sees something in the pattern. But then oh. there's like, 
then then there's like that intimidation factor where you don't want to get caught by it and you end up getting caught by it Cause, just because yeah. you know it's h0 you know what i mean so he he has that as well but yeah it's interesting nice for sure you. Done. he didn't really make a mistake he just happened to do a short tatsu when when a uh, 0 did a tiger knee yeah range for grab <clears throat> Oh, it worked out. Because yeah. this match is such a grind. Yeah, I think even fighting you, Sagat's tough. Oh, he went for the walk up throw. I like it. Uh -oh, take mine, though. Oh, wow. That was a long walk. Take mine. Yo, what a velocity. Oh, shit, I need my glasses. All right, glasses are on, chill mode activated. <laughs> yeah, this is another one of those matches where Shinku is not amazing. It's not, but I think it's still good. I think it still gives New Ryu the edge in this match over Old Ryu. Oh yeah, 100%, 100%. Still a threat? And it still does good ja good damage. And if you can make them jump, and you can DP, then that's Oh, really yo! Cool. How? Oh, nice. my God. Oh, I like the chase. Oh, not enough time. Uh, I probably should have tried overhead. Yeah. Well, I guess what he was looking for was, is you going to push a button or jump back or uppercut? There were a yeah. lot of you know, options that H0 had that would have got blown up by the super. What a yeah. jump. So it's Tiger Knees, man. Good reads. Yeah, I mean, consistent. I don't know, if it's me, if I do Tiger Knee uppercut, I'm doing Fierce uppercut, because, like, I'm already committed, bro. I'm already halfway into that shit, so... <laughs> Yeah, and it fucks up the timing because, like, if you're yeah, in... you try to reversal. <laughs> yeah, because if you want to punish the light DP, you can't hesitate. So if they end up doing a fierce, you miss your punish, and then you get punished for missing your punish. Yeah, so I think it's better to uh, let the jab DP go and wait to see if it's something you can punish. Yeah, nice uppercut there. Wow, make it John yeah. jump in. Yeah, the tables have turned this week. Let's see if John can adapt. The oh, key is a... not, what? not to get frustrated in this match, because Sagat controls so much. And in those situations there where it's like you would have gotten that jump in against any other character, but because Sagat has such a ridiculous recovery on Fireball, you missed the jump in. All of these little things like add to the frustration while you're playing. Oh, nice. Shinko working out. Uh-oh, Tiger D. Oh, yeah, he knew he missed the safe jump and hit the uppercut. That was dope. Yep. Uh, let me, uh, I'll talk about that shit after the match. That, that DP uppercut, I mean, that safe mm -hmm. jump uppercut shit. I'll talk about it after the match, but I love seeing that. Nice round, my John. Yeah, it's good. It's like, first you need to learn how to safe jump, and then after that, you have to learn to recognize when your safe jump is not a safe jump and when your opponent's safe jump is not a safe jump. I see a lot of players letting bad safe jumps go unthrown. Uh, we're spending it early, but he'll definitely get another one back. Nice. Jump back roundhouse. Yeah, Sagat's defense is still a good offensive tool. You can just jump roundhouse in almost any situation and get the get the hit. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Overhead time. No, he blocked. Nice punish. Yo. Oh. Oh my God. Yo, <laughs> fierce yet. Ah! Oh man. That was a nail biter. Super close too. I was nervous for John there. See, in that situation, you never jab DP. When you know you're gonna go in. You hit that fear because it does it. It does the right damage too. It does yeah. the damage. Jab, jab DP would not have done that much damage. Yeah, I mean you're going all in there no matter what. 
So go go all in with the biggest hand. <laughs> 90s Dragon Punch right there. 90s EP, 90s Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Cane Sugar. Oh, nice. You're in the corner, so you got to eat all that shit. Hmm. Yeah, what well, was almost a 2 0 is now in Choi's favor. He's about to go up in his set if he can take this round. Mm hmm. Yeah, low strong round opener is pretty good against Sagat, but the only thing he has all beat it is the low roundhouse, and that just happened to be that situation. I think the only two supers he's landed so far were full hits, which is quite rare. Yeah, making making all use out of that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. That doesn't count as a landed super. I mean, at least he didn't miss. He got something. Yeah, he's still two for two. Yeah. Wow, what a jump. All right, we playing the clock. I like this. Yeah, this match is it's down to the it's down to the clock all the time. Oh, but that one tiger shot and he still went in. He knows the patterns. He's played this. He solved this jigsaw puzzle a long time ago, guys. Oh uh. man said, "I want to play a game." Yo, those Saw movies, the first one was good, and I don't know what the hell happened to the rest, but anyway. Wait, oh, I didn't see any of them. A what? No, watch, I don't watch. Uh, I you, should, scary movie. you should watch the first one, but don't look up anything about it, because if you, you know, don't spoil yeah. that. But anyway. Man, see, you missed that jump, and it's like, fuck. Yeah, look, he has to take down the DP there as well, decided to walk back, low roundhouse. Yeah, Choi's playing as cautious as possible. Doesn't want to take any damage. So yeah, all, the, I mean, all the fireballs are safe. Every fireball he's doing right now is, like, relatively safe. But a yeah. random tiger knee. And now he's about to take the lead? <laughs> all right, Shinku no, could turn the tide. He missed the uppercut. That's going to be it. Oh, that's it. <sighs> like, you can, you can play the match like that with Ryu, but... You yeah. have to be able. You have to be able to hit every punish, and it's it's hard. It's hard even offline against yeah, the guy's jump. Yeah, keep yourself there, but you got to shake it off. Just play solid and don't miss those opportunities, and you'll be okay. Yeah. But it sucks to think now that like he could have been two one instead of one two. That really affects the mental. Yeah, I mean it's not gonna affect him though. My dude's yeah, a macro. Jeff, He's a macro. He's a fucking stoic computer. Again, dude. What is that for? <laughs> Yo, I got one of those too. Yo, that's Ryu's. Oh! <laughs> Yo, Ryu's version of Tiger Knee Uppercut. <laughs> Short Tatsu Fierce DP. <laughs> yeah, still so, not going to take any chance, but H0, H0 can read, bro. Nice stand short. Does a lot of damage. Uh, Clean yeah. jump. All right, big boy walk. We do those. Oh, wow. I can't believe he didn't get the Punisher with the sweep. And this is looking good for John. He got the corner. He got the Shinku. Spends it right away. Oh, missed the uppercut. You know that's what he wanted. He's dead for that. Off of that, he's dead. You know that's what he wanted. How many times in the 90s? Yo, how many times in the 90s do we see Toward Fierce, Fierce TP against Olsagat in the corner? Because you know they're going to jump. Yeah, he went deep there. I wonder if he crossed himself up. You hate to see it. Yeah, that sucks, man, because he has such a life lead. He could have just played safe, just dodging Tigers all day. Oh, oh okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's a macro. He missed it again, but no stun. <laughs> no, please. Oh, my goodness. He's so lucky he didn't get stunned there. That was supposed to be a tiger shot. He ended up getting tiger knee. If that was a tiger shot, it was curtains. It was over. Oof. It was over. And yeah, by angry. the way, uh, John Choi used that that fake Shinku buffer in um, Northwest Majors like an HDR 10 years ago. 
man, it's an encyclopedia. Told you, man. Level R. Hey, Zaz. What's this about Northwest Majors? Yeah, Choi used it once against the uh, SC player. He goes at uh, NWM. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because I learned from that in uh, fucking... Uh, what's his name? Digital Infamy tried it on me once at that Tournament Legends 1, but then I, like, reversal through him, and I won. I got to come back and won. Like, I'm not falling for that. John did it once. <laughs> not fall for it. What's the tech you're talking about here? It's, it's when you knock someone down, and then you just buffer Shinku, but you don't actually Shinku, you just throw. Ah, right. So you, right. Anyway, all right, back to the match. Sorry, right. memory lane. Choi's at match point. Let's go. Yeah, can turn around, but still anybody's game. I mean, this should really be a massive advantage for H0. <clears throat> yeah, it's an interesting fight, because, like, there is a way that Ryu can play it. It's not like fighting Boxer, where it's, like, kind of super random. Uh, you just have to guess with Rush Punch. Yeah. Like, you can actually zone here with Tatsu and stuff, yeah. get your meter, nice. and then just play really smart. So it's... I I've grown to like this match. Interesting. To, to me, you know, with... It's one of the <laughs> characters I hate playing the most is Sagat because he's so so merciful. Like you, you have like no room to make an error. Whereas against yeah, characters. I mean it depends on the character you play, yeah. <laughs> right? Like if I use Cami or something, you know, I, I hate all Sagat. But Ryu's got things he can do. Yeah, I really like watching good DJs play against uh, Sagat. Mm -hmm. I like listening to good DJs. <laughs> I like yeah, it was cool seeing how Afro was able to handle Ultra Combo in this match. It, well, DJ. Oh, yo, yeah, low jab throw. Let's go. Oh, Let's... the low jab. What is going on here? Yeah, Again. Uh, space to make up. Uh... No uppercut. No uppercut. Choi's got a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I'm saying there's a chance. We're going to Aspen. <laughs> Time's ticking down. Happen. Someone's gonna have to make a move. Oh my god! Oh, he's the H0. <laughs> Yo, he did the he did the H1! Oh Miss Shinku! It wouldn't have worked anyway, he was blocking it out. Uh, well, H0 got his revenge finally. It's been a yeah. while. Damn. To really save hard. that game to five, save right? that for game five. Wow. Damn, and yeah, 98% that had Choi for that one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh shit. God damn, only three people bet 53k. Yikes. That one person who bet on A0 got fucking paid. Yeah, <laughs> now you guys can use your channel points for the stuff I don't even have set up. But, it's uh, okay, paper cut. You'll recover. Just put all your money in a GameStop. It's below 200, so... You can still make it on the rocket. Yeah, why are we still talking about stocks? Anyway, I just want to show a um, couple events that are happening this week. So, firstly, you guys are watching Wednesday Night Fight. I saw a comment about why is this on a Tuesday. It's because we're going to go up until top eight for both Alpha 2 and Super Turbo. And then tomorrow at 7 p.m., you guys can watch on Level Up Live. We'll start with ST, then Alpha 2, and then finally Street Fighter 5. So, that's why it's Wednesday Night Fight's online edition. Um, then, this Friday, we got... Uh, another Super Lucha Cayeta, number 26. I don't think oh, no. anyone has seen the matches that are lined up yet, but the main event will be Super V versus Ito, 2K, uh, in a first to 10. So that'll be one of the true tests. If Super V can win that, then, yeah, like he, he's up there. He got a trophy or something. Um, but, yeah, Cigar Bob versus H0, Frank Punches versus Velos. I don't I don't know if you've seen Velos, Snips, Damien, but his, his guy is pretty strong. Um, uh yeah i'm not sure i don't think so i don't recognize the name yeah i haven't seen yeah. him either he's he's played at one of these a few weeks back and yeah his guy was pretty impressive to me and then enforcer versus back and snoopy global versus dj vanilla yeah That's still feeding zero eight two matchups huh <laughs> well cigar bob wanted this one so but but what are you gonna do almost everything for old Sagat's eight two what do you want <laughs> yeah yeah either eight two or two eight right there's no <laughs> yeah I mean, I played him, but then he switched to Old Ken in the middle of the set. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I think, uh, Riz, you missed explaining that the real reason that this tournament is on Tuesday is that for you, 
you know, the day that you joined this tournament was the <laughs> most important day of your life. But for Riz, it was Tuesday. Yeah, for me, it's always Tuesday, guys. Seven days a week, 365 days out of the year. And then, um, so we're Super Lore Boys. I have a podcast, guys, if, if you guys are interested in ST, but also uh, very soon launching a new project that Damn Dye knows about, at least, um, on the call. So this is it here. It's going to be uh, launching on Kickstarter. Uh, I don't have, like, a great amount of info, but if you guys want to copy down the link, it's, uh, I think I made a command. There it goes. Yeah, that looks dope, man. I hope the cards come out looking like that. Oh. Those, are very, those are very appealing. Yeah, so there'll be more info soon, of course, but I would appreciate if everyone can, like, follow that link. And uh, once more information is revealed, just be on the lookout. But it's going to be some stuff that, you know, I think will the community will enjoy. So, yeah. Now, that 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 blue box on the left with the the floating logo is that is that a, is that a real thing? Is that no, a physical it's a, object? It's a box. It's just, it's <laughs> aesthetics. It's aesthetics. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you get this like a uh, fucking maglev I mean, thing. I mean, this stuff is gonna in twenty years. It's gonna be worth more than a bitcoin. I mean, this is. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no. Absolutely. Get in on ground zero. Absolutely. All right. Anyway, yeah, enough. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Thanks Enough for chill other. for that. Uh, I'll, I'll try to show it again before then. Let's get to the next match. It's going to be Hakuto and Crossed. Another okay. run back. So oh, we're going to see. They are. They're in game. Oh, they were just chilling, huh? Cool. All right. So we got Hakuto and Crossed of run back. They did fight at Super Lucha Cayera just a few weeks back. Yeah. And Hakuto just. I feel like Hakuto has been running into a wall of old Kens that have been uh, stopping his progress lately. Well, well, more like he's been running to the wall so he can go off it. To the <laughs> wall. Yeah, but. Oh, and here we. This is Damien's uh, D Queen <laughs> color. Yo, what up, Snooch? Yo, folks in uh, chat, I'd love to hear your feedback. Good or bad? What do you think of this color? This is Damien's custom color. New so, colors. Let me know what you think. You like it? You nice. Hate it? Yeah, so Damien did win a tournament that allowed him to create a custom color for his character. Yeah. I like it. It's like slightly off-white, yellowish. It's pretty dope. Good, That's safe yeah. jump. Yeah, I think it's... Like, I don't like uh, regular ST Ken's white color. Like, that's just pure white. And yeah, I think that's... that's like, I just don't like that. Well, nice throw. <laughs> I like this. This is cool, and I think it's suits an old character and i think it looks really good against old number two the black the, the yeah throw. we're yeah, gonna have to wait we're gonna have to wait till black. tomorrow we might have to wait till tomorrow to see that unless yeah we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow <laughs> unless you I play know. it damien yeah. you're getting some backers in chat here last last time people were just shitting all over it but no that know. wasn't people that was super v <laughs> I mean, doesn't count as a person <laughs> 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 All right, nice. No tech either. Yo, medium. Yo, close medium kick. What the Back, hell was like, that? Like brown oh, that? That was luck. That's what that was. Why did he do so much damage too? The fuck? Yo, nice DP. The damn die medium punch. Unblockable. One more for stun. He waited for something. I like that. Akuda not Why biting. He missed the fierce uppercut. Uh, yeah. Fierce. Oh, okay. oh he, I think he missed another one there. That jump fierce. That's what yeah. Troy just lost. He Troy wanted Shiku. He got jump fierce. Nice yeah. reversal. Does it get a three piece? Baited. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Damn. Super V, your opinion doesn't count. You're not a person, according to Damn Rock. Right. Yeah. Well, it counts now that he likes it. <laughs> it counts now that he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Snooch, if you want to do, if you want to commentate this game, by the time you're done talking about something, the round's over. I, I still didn't talk about that safe jump DP thing. Anyway, I'll talk about it later. Oh, yeah. remind, remind me after this, after this. All right. Yeah. Nice. There's a fierce uppercut. was waiting for that. Not sure if that was a safe jump, but Kuro didn't contest it. Wow, Ooh, what a dragon. Big. Yeah, nice. Oof. Clunk. Clunk. <laughs> <laughs> a spoon, a spoon just dropped on the floor. <laughs> Clunk. <laughs> God, that triple flip kick does so much damage. To triple spot. I know, it's oh. crazy. He gets the most damaging anti air. Wow, that was nice. Little shimmies. Nice. 
Uh, oh, Mr. Crouch fears. Not a safe jump, but again, Akuda not contesting. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, He's got to get used to this uh, unusual. So Cross likes to let it rip. You got to stop that, because Hokuto's not dumb. Yeah, you can't just randomly YOLO. Yeah, I, I know you want to hit like really bad, but you play Hokuto enough, you'll you can't do that. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Hokuto has a master's degree in ST, so my <laughs> man's not dumb. All right, here we go. Unblockable boys. He went for the walk up throw. He's Doctor Hokuto. He's got a master's degree in ST. See, stop it, Cross. Stop. You're losing the games because of this. Ah. This is like watching Thak versus Sabdar Bob. He's like doing good stuff and then it's like, oh, Jesus, don't do that. Yeah. Well, if he rewatches this, like it, everything was good. And then you, you end up losing because of doing that. So. Well, he's also not doing the fierce DPs every time. I don't know if that's execution or what. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, it might be hesitation. It's it's scary fighting. Yo, oh, nice show you there. That was clean. Nice. Yeah. Plus, this is game three, guys. If, if Hakuto's up 2-0, he's going to start every round with walk-up throw. You guys know this already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. No, oh, he didn't combo too bad. Yeah. All right. There's the fierce up with that. Great. Yeah. That's, Kevin can't really combo in that range. He could probably go for sweep. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you could do low forward, red, uh, red fierce fireball, and it would work. I like mm. that close yeah. uh, fierce. Well, Cross got around every game so far. He just needs to put two of them together in the same game. Rare miss there by oh, Hokuto. Nice punish. He missed that time. Mm -hmm. oh, Again. Oh, he tried the shimmy. So, I think at best, the Cross Fierce will work, but you have to be completely under Ken. Like, you have to be underneath. Hakuto's trying to mm -hmm. Crouch Fierce these jump fierces. Um, right, and he's right. too, too far. Nice bait, but no uppercut. Yeah. Come on, I think the press there is a uh, low medium kick uh, jab DP. Would be the best yeah. Punch. Well, you tried medium punch jab DP, probably just miss the uppercut. Maybe. Yeah, I, I think the best punish, consistency Ooh. wise, and like unless you really got the standing fears DP or the crouching medium kick DP down, just do a DP. Yeah, just DP. Because you get a safe jump anywhere. You get a setup anyway. Yeah, you get good damage. Yeah. You get the setup. I really want to call out those beautiful DPs that Cross got there. He got some like, nice. cuts there that were really. Really well played. Yeah, what up, yeah, Bernie? You can't get those all the time. It feels good when you do. It's unfortunate. <laughs> it's so hard to do consistently. Oh, I like that delay there, trying to look for something. Jump around house, getting the corner now. Wall dive? No, he just went air to air. Here we go. <laughs> okay, got nice juice kick to get in, but doesn't capitalize. Ah, uh, the early stab. The late stab. The ambiguous stab. There we go. Beautiful and nice. Sonic Good. the Hedgehog. Oh! oh, beautiful. I like that. No oh, claws. He so you can't cross. Jab. Too oh, bad. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got to connect. Yo, what up, Arch Villain? How's it going, bro? Yeah. I feel like Cross is in like angry computer mode here. <laughs> Ah, uh, missed a DP there. Uh, wow, surprise no flip kick there. He lost half his life. Oh, just super? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. That was a bit risky, I think, from Hokuto. That always combo. No, uh, against Shoto, that always combos. Low jab, uh, jab roll, and then low strong. It's like a four hitter. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Roll hurts so much. It's ridiculous, huh? And the chip on roll is nuts. I mean, <laughs> It's like a DP, like just to just chip them on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if you're if you're mid screen, yo, what up, grilled beans and Dustin? If you're mid screen, you could just do a low jab, uh, Scarlet Terror into another Scarlet Terror, but in the corner is just low jab, jab roll, and then I think low strong, just a four hitter. Is that better uh, than Shota. jump fierce, low medium, low yes. medium, three hit? It's easier to do and it does more damage. Okay. Yeah. All right, Bob's on a work call right now. Well then. All right, DQ for Bob. We're going to just continue moving on the bracket. Congrats, Damda. You move on to top eight. No. Uh, let me let me load up this bracket real quick. See where we're at. All right. We can run the other. Bob, Bob works at a scammer Indian call center, so he's like finding some, getting some old lady to buy iTunes gift cards. Is he talking to Kit Boga right now? Yeah, exactly. He's like, <laughs> 
<laughs> this is Microsoft Support Center, ma'am. Uh, yeah, yeah, Hokuto confirmed the combo. So low jab, jab roll, crouching MP. Yeah, that's it. And it does more damage than a three piece, and it's easier more than the. Than three piece. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. But it, it's character specific. So against okay. Dalsim, you would use, I think, medium punch. I don't know. I don't know all the claw combos. All right. Choi Boy and Fak will be going up next. Are there more than one qual? What does that mean? I cannot comply. Where do you see that? Uh, Paper Cut asks, are there more than one qual? I don't know what the hell you... Oh, in Twitch? Oh. I guess I have a block. <laughs> 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 Stupid. <laughs> I guess I have him blocked. Yeah, I don't see his messages. Well, you didn't block him from this Discord call. He could hear you, bruh. Well, I mean, whatever. Oh, Damn, well. Casual diss. <laughs> yeah, Hokuto, you're going to have to write the combo guide for uh, Claw. I think a lot of people don't really know those. Uh, <laughs> out the gate with the doinks? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, big DP. I don't know if he was trying to fireball there or just YOLO. I forgot I can't type FAC because of Twitch, so it's FLAC from here on out. Yo, what up, Doc? What up, Implied? I I want to do the, the Troy drinking game, and if, if Troy does a block Shinku into overhead, everyone takes a drink. Everyone takes a drink anytime you get a 55. How's that? <laughs> okay, that too. <laughs> Uh, TP came out. He still got punished for it. Damn it, Sprite. All right, hold up. I'll, I'll go to the fridge after this. And I still didn't talk about that DP thing. Oh, you can't do that. You cannot do that. You'll eat a fireball every time. But I think he could have eaten a super. Yeah, yeah. You can eat a super by a bad doink. Even on hit. Here comes, okay. Overhead. See? You see that? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Zach. <laughs> you, see, you see that? Oh, Tatsu. <laughs> jump back jab, jump back jab for the win. Oh, nice, good trip. <laughs> He's been doing that shit since like 1993. Same thing, every single time he gets a shinky overhead after. I thought he did it like two fox since 94. <laughs> I, oh. Alias, not a bad bet though. <laughs> not a bad bet. Oh, oh Tatsu! The John Choi Tatsus, they're coming out, y'all! <laughs> they, they're coming out to play! <laughs> oh, there would have been an overhead if it hadn't killed. <laughs> oh shit, they're coming out, fellas! Yeah, those work sometimes. Not all the time, but it's a good thing to throw in there. Oh, that was dope. I got to mix it up a bit. Stun? Yo, no stun? I'm out. GG's. Bullshit. <laughs> no, that wasn't going to stun. Come on. What? Oh. He did low forward fireball, and then he did, like, a jump kick into throw. How's that not going to stun on Claw? Wait. I don't know where I am in the match. Uh... Damn, I Get that ass man. That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's just starting right now. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, I don't know. I didn't see that. Yo, oh, we TP joints. Oh, here, Dizzy, one more. Bro, yep. There you go. See, that, that I think that should have stunned. No. I'm surprised that's not a stun. <laughs> no. Not that one. Oh, no, nice. No, what the juicy boys. If it was a blue fireball, yeah, but red, nah. The three piece, it's a, the three piece red into tick throw is not going to stun. Uh, no. I tried to get that far medium kick, but got the knee instead. Oh, no Scarlet Terror. The juice is loose. Ooh. Yeah, I like that <laughs> jump back jab. Is that a mess up? Oh, thrown out of the juice. Wow. Yeah, that's a risk there. If you the grab beats the juice. Oh my Ooh. god, Just a crowd. That, that was like twelve that was like fifteen percent or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
head yet. Long now let's side. go, Fac. Fac's playing the uh, Tori Kago style as the stay on the ground and just lock him down with normal. Oh, top back jab. Oof. Are we going to get another uh, Shinkun over? Oh, yeah, good throw there. Much harder to confirm the three hitter. Anti air doinks. Ugh. Man, the fact is, just does not give a shit. He just doinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, doink is so good. It's like. It really is. <laughs> yeah. For a move that fast, it shouldn't do that much damage. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's the thing about the top tiers in this game. It's just like layers and layers and layers of really good stuff. I mean, it's really good, and he'd be amazing without it. You know, it's like yeah. Not really. Oh, that's the Punisher on the whiff DP, but it's all good. I think I remember. I don't know if this is true anymore, but like an old tier list from Japan that said that Old Claw is still like top five in the game. Nah. <laughs> his wall dives. His wall dives not that great. His claws get knocked off. Yeah. But the point was that he doesn't need the wall dive, but he's still just a very good character. Yeah. You know, normal speed. Yeah, nice jump back jab. I'm glad to see more players using that. Jump back yeah, jab and the neutral jump shorter. Very underutilized tools with Shotos in this match. Ooh, yeah, nice. Kayla, you need to do that, but you like jump short for some reason. <laughs> you need to <laughs> jump jab, Kayla. <laughs> oh. Tried to stand medium kick, I think. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, stand medium kick. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the Tatsu have been unlocked. That must have been a mistake, that stand medium punch from father. It was a good move. I mean, that beats the, uh, you know, that's what you do in that situation. Because you lose your charge when he jumps in the corner like that. I didn't think that was... That was not even on my radar when you just moved to. Oh, that. nice. Okay, so now he's doing the corner lockdown. Yeah, yeah watch the, oh. you know what? That is uh, Ryu can do the rush punt, you know, the. 2 2. Ooh. Ryu can do that, that uh, for, forward fierce where he moves forward and then into fierce uppercut, and that effectively gets all wall dives the same way he comes first DP does. Sometimes it'll trade. Yeah, but it's, it's, way, it's way harder to use. It's, uh, you, you can't just do it anytime you see him go off yeah. the wall. You gotta beat Fudu-chan. He's the one yeah, that, 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 that popularized that. There he just did it. Yeah. Call that the Fudu-chan special. Isn't that how he beat, uh... Fuck, uh, Biron. Ganelon. Uh. When you guys went to SBO that year. Hmm. Ooh. That's a tough break. That was Fudu-chan's hottest year. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, that, that's what we were saying. You cannot yeah. just make doink. It's a food. I don't know. Can if they win? They shouldn't yeah. Do, but it is for it sure. depends on the range. Sometimes, and like, there's there's three different levels of the doink, right? Like one goes really high, so the recovery on that's longer. Nice. Feel sure are you we're gonna stay on the ground? Okay. Early stab. Early stab. Good, very good uh, cross ups there. Ah, but we got the juice. Ooh. Here it comes. Just for me, John, do another Shinku in the overhead. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, not like this. Uh -huh. Oh, oh Max he did the Mexican well. uppercut. The upper oh he didn't do it. <laughs> no drink. <laughs> yeah, he did a DP to doing. He did a DP to doing. Oh <laughs> he fireballed the juice. Throw. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Match. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was a lot closer than than it seemed actually. Yeah. But yeah. All right, Choi's gonna move on to top eight tomorrow. Um, and we still have is Cigar Bob back yet? <clears throat> Installing the virus on his client's computer. Yeah, he's ready. Cigar Bob's ready. All right, you guys can get into it. Oh, let me explain this DP thing. So yeah, you guys All can right. get into it, so I don't lose my concentration. All right, guys. All right, let so, me know. Tell, tell me when I'm good to go, and then I'll drop off the call. I mean, you can drop off the call. I'll just. Well, no, I want to listen. I want to listen to when I can start because I'm not watching the stream. Okay. All right, all right, fine. Let me explain. So, basically, when you safe jump in this game, you need to be able to like, you know, 
optically see that you timed it correctly. And when you don't, right, you're susceptible to getting thrown or, you know, usually it's a throw because your opponent's not going to wake up flash kick if they see that you jumped in early. So they want to throw you. But when you realize that you missed a safe jump and you know that the opponent knows, you have to just throw in a DP. It's not an option select. You just throw out the DP and it'll work. So that's what we saw um, when A0 missed that one safe jump. When A0 missed that one safe jump against uh, John Choi, he just threw out the uppercut. Choi tried a reversal throw and right. got beat up for it. So that's like that next like layer you know, for high-level stuff. But... You have to know it, especially Ryu versus Gal. You can't always get the perfect safe jump spacing, and Gal's not going to flash kick because you're you're already blocking. So he's going to throw you if you throw in that DP. Yeah, he's done. Sorry, guys. Go ahead, Damien. Enjoy your game. Optic sight is what doctors tell people to make them feel special. Yeah. So now back like many, many moons ago, Daigo said that Zangief w beats like Ryu 5-5 five, five to 4-5. Is that true in the modern meta? Um, so what he said, like everything Daigo says, is taken out of context. So, no, the reversal throw would get beat by Dragon Punch. But you're already installing it instead of holding down back. So what Daigo said was that... Pretty much it depends on the type of Zangief or it depends on the type of Ryu. Between him and like what Sasori said later on, that you can beat like Pony 10-0, but then you maybe fight Gunze and lose 10-0. Which mm -hmm. effectively means that the matchup is 5-5. But it's taken out of context. So what Daigo was saying is more like the matchup is even, but it sways in either's favor depending on the play style. The Zangief doesn't have negative edge. He has to commit to the SPD or get the right read, but... That's only if you fight someone that can always get the reversal DP out. Right. Like Gamdai, for example. You have to bait him because you know he has the ability to Dragon Punch through the ticks. Oh, nice first punish there. So it depends. But the more experience you get versus your opponent, um, I guess the more even it eventually ends up becoming, which means the match is a struggle for both characters. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, see? So just miss time, uh, miss space that stand short there, because you can you can make your uh, short safe. But damn, I was committed to that jab DP. He was gonna do it anyway. Yo, what up, old school BR? Damn, I haven't seen that name in a while. Oh, just spending the Shinku. He could have hit with that Larry if he'd moved forward into the Shinku. Canada KO up. You just confirm it visually. You know when you miss a safe jump. Oh, nice cheeky screw. Uh, I think that. I think he was trying to buffer a stand roundhouse into something. I tried to snake eyes after. Like uh, whiff roundhouse into SPD. Yeah. Yeah, this match is definitely a grind. I mean. Because there's no great way of locking down Zangief. You have to have perfect sweeps. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you, can't mess, you can't miss a sweep or you're dead. Oh, that was, a, that was supposed to be a fireball, but the Lariat kept the fireball on the screen. Super for Not chip. enough for Chip. Not enough. Now Jump short? Some, yeah. Some just gonna throw out those low mediums. Yep. Wow, what a low forward. Yo, Canada KOF, you about to get hit by this ban hammer, bro. <laughs> Ooh, big two hit. Oh, yeah. That's why you can't whiff a sweep. Had to be smart. Can't, uh, can't do it. You have to delete that button from your brain as Ryu. You can only do it if you're guaranteed to whiff punish something. Two, yep. Oh. Very nice. Textbook there. Yeah, what up, Bang? I mean, the thing with Ryu is, yeah, you can revert soul uppercut, but you have to, you know. It's it's brutal if you guess wrong. <laughs> They're forcing these bad guys yeah. Another sweep gone punished. Another one almost got punished. Another one just got punished. Yeah, Baited the ball. Safe short. Short, short. Oh, missed SPD. That could have been it. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Look at that. It's a bit demoralizing to lose uh, two rounds so decisively like that. Yeah, those sweeps are definitely hurting them. I mean, I know he, he definitely understands, like, when to use it, but... 
cigar bob just a hair out, just a pixel away from those. Yeah. This could be a this could be a very close set. San Roundhouse. San Roundhouse trade anti-air. Wow, yo, was that intentional? This ain't really? champion edition. Really risky. Bob getting a little impatient there with the jumps. Yeah. Oh, there goes the whiff punish there. So what Bob is doing is trying to keep him proximity guard with those walk-up sand shorts. Mm -hmm. But again, damn that was just wow! That was supposed to be a fireball, but he improvised and got the throw anyway. But um yeah, so Bob is just trying to like prevent Damn Dye from walking back. So you can be at a range like right there where the low round has to clip. But yeah. they both got the trade, so it's pretty much like a, a, a do-over. You just like lose half your life for those two jump-ins. You got to be careful of those jump strong. Jangief can crouch it on wake up. Oh, okay. Hajiki Shrew, 50-50 time. Are we going to Shinku? Nah, he's going to bait it anyway. I like that. That was like third layer bait. Wow, no tech either. Yo. The guts. I'm surprised the guard shot Bob didn't just go into uh, jump short super because there's no. You can negative edge the jump short super, can't you? Negative edge. There's no whiff. No, in your no, because you just get an SPD. Because there's no whiff animation for super, you'd automatically just get the whiff animation for SPD. Oh! Sweep gets bopped again. And now Cigar Bob just. Keep him in the corner. Damn guy not focusing so much on the anti air game. Kind of focusing on the ground, so using Sand Roundhouse. That De close top two, Bob could have Larry a little bit. He punched under. Detested Hunter, what tier is Zangief? It's tough to say. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what up, big little Skydros? A bottom tier may be detested, but not this matchup. This is a, yeah. Zangief's better matchups. Apart from the super top tiers, this game's tierless is like whatever. Like cares, everyone can win. Not alpha style, not alpha two style, but look at this dude. He can't even throw a fireball. That nice. was a very long throw range. He and needed he, that. He extended uh, throw box. In that short. Yeah, that's the thing. All right, so against Damdai, if you're in a range where you can get thrown, he's not going to do the wake up DP. He will throw. Oh, we're missing stuff. I, no. From multiple shorts. Okay, super. Nice oh. low forward, barely getting out of that. Almost chipped. You can't throw bar. Yes, jump short. It's gonna trade anyway. Yeah. I'm surprised Cigar's not going for safe jumps on wake up there. He's just doing those stand shorts. Well, stand short, you can make it safe. Nice sack SPD, that's free. Yeah, but with a jump short, you get an extra chance at a mix up, right? I mean, I guess. Again, th that's like, that's that's what Daigo was saying about the match. What the hell is going on? Yeah, Bow jab, roundhouse, Tatsu. What are we even playing right now? But yeah, it it depends on you know the Zangief. Depends on the Ryu. Depends on. Whoa! Yo, damn! I got combos. Yeah, Bob tried for the super. We saw the the miss SPD animation. All right. First of all, that wasn't damn die. That was Frank punches, y'all. <laughs> Cause we know, cause we know, damn die can't comp. Oh, what up, damn die? What up? <laughs> what was that low forward super about? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What do you mean? What the hell was all that shit about? <laughs> what? <laughs> Good shit. <clears throat> it was the right move. Damien, maybe you can settle our dispute. I was surprised that Bob didn't, when he knocked you down, that he wasn't doing safe jumps. And Riz was saying now he's good doing the sort of safe, safe grounded stand short. But my thought was a safe jump would be better because he can force you into an extra guessing game right after the safe jump. You know, is there going to be an SPD? And then if yeah, not, I mean, more. I guess like this, if you can do the stand, the safe light kick, like that's yeah. really good too. It's kind of equal both ways. Uh, I, I know Bob likes to bait more, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Does he, what is does he, so he doesn't safe jump because he doesn't feel it's good timing. I'm not well, sure I understand what that means. Well, the, all right, so the other thing with the far stand short is you have the option of doing another safe stand short, which would lead into SPD. So you actually get a better setup, and it's, it's relatively more safe. It's 
if you're aiming for consistency, go for the short short SPD or one short SPD or one short weight. But adding the safe jump, you know, you, you don't really get as like, many options. I feel like the so Cigar Bob got reversal thrown a couple times. The safe jump, there's no way you can get reversal thrown. So it just seems like, why are you giving your opponent an extra out? That, that's how I Yeah, think. I mean, it is kind of like, yeah, there's no negative to doing a safe jump if you have the timing. Right, yeah. but then it just becomes that much harder. Yeah. You no. Know? But, and then if you hit Ryu out of the air, so if you hit Ryu out of the air, you can't do a reversal Tatsu. There's a bug in the game that doesn't let you do reversal attack Tatsu. So Zangief gets a free stand short without worrying about the risk of, you know, Tatsu. So you Can I do, DP? Yeah, but if it's a safe stand short, then... Right, right, but I just can't, just can't reversal Tatsu? Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't so know that. You can't reversal Tatsu, what, grounded attacks? So if you get hit by something, if you get anti-aired but not knocked down, if you just get hit by something out of the air, you can't reversal Tatsu with really? Ryu. Yeah. Huh. Just Ryu, but Ken can? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Damn, Ryu is slow tier, man. Fuck. So yeah, if you get hit, yeah, if you get hit out of the air, yeah, don't. don't Such a low tier hero. hero. Are they in the game or they're just chilling the test menu? Let me load it back up. Who are we watching now? They're uh, listening Cross, to you. Cross and Kayla. Cross and Yeah, Kayla. I talked about it on Super Lore Boys, y'all. Come on. If you guys want the in-depth lore about this game, Super Lore Boys, listen to, you know. Shot at love with Kila Tequila. Tequila Tequila. Tequila Mockingbird. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was in that play as a kid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wish I had the VHS still. That shit would be hyped to watch right now. Yo, up that shit up to the DVD. Do, dude, Cross just do roundhouse lightning legs. Like, someone tell me how to do that move. <laughs> Jesus. You gotta ask Tech Monkey. No, you're gonna have to wait till his episode. <laughs> <laughs> Auto fire, right? I did not even know Cross. Drink a couple of Dr. Peppers and uh, hold your finger, just hover it above the button, and you'll get it. Oh, cat? speaking of which, I gotta get a, I gotta get a can because people put in commands. Hold up. Nice, nice. Uh, jumping a lot there, cross. Wait, so you're saying, damn, that you're saying, uh, hold your fingers above the button and just tap super fast with one finger? We'll do it. For uh, after you drink a bunch of Dr. Pepper. Oh, <laughs> okay. You'll be shaking from all the caffeine. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You just gotta mash quickly. If you're good at doing the trill technique where you, you kind of hover your two fingers lightly above the button, and then you can just go back and forth. Uh-huh. So you're like, you're, you're tapping yeah, you're, with each finger. You're alternating fingers, right? Yeah. Mm. You can practice that. <clears throat> Cross playing a super aggressive chum here, not the controlling. Man, those roundhouse lightning legs out of nowhere. Jesus. <laughs> I'm impressed. I need to, need to get that macro. <laughs> Yo, what up, future hero much? Oh, very nice. So you can combo that into a super cool, cool point. I really like uh, Cross style. It's a, it's a very, like, super aggressive kind of Odochun style that he's playing, as opposed to the yeah. more traditional, I'd say, control. Cross, like, is, Cross has always had a, uh, a pocket chun. Mm. He busts it off from time to time. This is Dan Dai's favorite Ryu color, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what up, Infernal? Is he? Oh, he could have had to do. I would have stayed. I don't like this color for the record. Yo, Kayla going in. That's an unblockable. Mm. When you block the Shinku like that, standing, you can't crouch it. I don't know why the game does that. Like, this Ryu stuff. color is called Takao, like Taco with an A. Oh, air combos, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Just bounce out of it. Cross can oh, oh, no. You gotta uh, stand roundhouse those um, jump tatsus. I don't know. I want to see, yo, I want to see some Shoto matches. Come on, Cross. I don't like seeing Cross Chun. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that was unfortunate. Yo, what up, Llama and Climax? Oh, 
Oh yeah, fuck, I gotta do that too. <clears throat> this is I don't know how to dress myself for you. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> The way Cross is playing, I feel like we're playing on Turbo 3. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> he missed it anyway. <laughs> Super V suggests a different headband, yeah. I mean, I think maybe the problem is the skin tones clash too much with the blue color. I think, so it's too much. Uh, to me, this looks very copper. Looks like a penny. You won't get me, Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what are these tattoos and why are they working? Yeah, so you you can, as Chun, when uh, Ryu does that, you can stand fierce to punish his tattoo or you can jump medium kick. Yeah, jump medium kick is optimal. No, I don't think it's optimal. It does less damage than the stand fierce. No, but you, you end up in his face and then you got safe meaty. Stand fierce, you get nothing after, so. You're you trading, nothing? doing less damage for getting better positioning for more damage. All right. That's fair. Also, stand fear sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes you get hit anyway. Yeah, getting hit air to air by Chun's jump medium kick. I don't think there's a single character that gets advantage except maybe like... No, nobody gets advantage. Everyone loses after that. <coughs> nice throw there. Do the rush punch, so there's no tech either. And now walk up, super, and now just buff for the option select. Oh, what are you doing, Cross? Well, he doesn't have the super yet. Oh, it was Ryu's oh, super. Yeah, I can't block that. <laughs> what do you mean, can't block that? <coughs> but when you block the. Yes. <laughs> you can't crouch when you're blocking Shinku standing at certain ranges. Oh, so that's a free low. low yeah, uh... it's a free sweep. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't transition from the stand block to the crouch block in time. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So would that would an overhead be guaranteed as well if you're crouching? Or is that too slow? I don't know. No. Because the overhead's gonna come out slower than a sweep. Oh. Oh no. Yo, no. we're in a two-two situation, and these Dude. guys are—they're fighting for a top eight right now. Let's go, Cross. I, I really like the way Cross is playing, but I, I wish he would slow down just a tiny bit when he has super, because I feel there's a, several chances where he could have closed out the round by just doing an option select after a slow... Yeah, play. and he should recognize by now that Kelly is kind of like... He's a, he's a YOLO Ryu, so like you know he's going to throw stuff out. Yeah. No, it's and not. He... It doesn't say YOLO, it says Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> So disrespectful, Dim. <laughs> what? I mean, that's the reality. <clears throat> Good, okay. Basic. Yeah. He was waiting for that, but he can still... Oh shit, match point Kayla. I like this. Yeah, I like this, Kayla. Build a meter before anything else. Yeah, well, that's. I think what you want to do against Chun is Ryu is just get that that meter is a huge priority because the pieces are falling apart for Cross. Yeah, I mean the thing is when you play when you oh nice MK. Yeah, this time he's crouching. Wow. Nice, nice. He can still come out go. of it. He's got yeah, his he's power. one super will close the round. This this super has to hit if he wants to really win. Oh no. Oh. Man, that could have been it. Have to hit. It does, he no. Jump MK. Jump, jump MP. Safe meaties. Oh! Dude, we got so much MK here, you'd think so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I like that callback to the OG references. All right, double mash point with the World Warrior Anteriors. Get thrown. Yeah, yeah big Sam Roundhouse. Good stuff. Oh, sack throw. This could be it. That's pretty much a guarantee yeah, yeah. sack throw. Okay. <laughs> you you're getting me twitchy here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hey, Super Mario! Oh, good. Charge, charge. Oh, oh my god! Blocked. All right, he blocked. Yeah, he's good. Wow, he he blocked crouching the stood up and had to take all the chip because he stood up. <laughs> no, he just wanted to be pushed back for the <laughs> Yeah, <space>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wanted his face. <laughs> Too high level. <laughs> no, wow. Good, please. So 
so risky. He could have eaten a TP. Oh, man. Oh. Well, he won. That was close. Is that cross first top eight? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Maybe Might second. be. Good job, buddy. I, yeah. I want to say for the record, I think uh, Kila could have won with a jump cart, like empty jump DP there with a beat in the stand short. Yeah, I mean, it was close. It could have been either, yeah. either game. Yeah, that was tight. All right, there's one more match left for the night. It's going to be Cigar Bob versus, uh, versus Climax. But before we get into that, got to show this match arena one more time for the road. So where are we at? What? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it just had a white screen. So um, if everyone could click this link right here that I just dropped in the chat. Um, there's a free promo code that you're able to use. It adds 50 cents to the pot. It's really, really easy. A lot of us already did it, but I know that there's still more codes that we can use. So you pretty much just copy this guy here. And you paste it where it says coupon code and contribute. And you add 50 cents to the pot. You can also do direct contributions as well. Um, but this will help out the players, you know, to show you guys all this high level ST content that you love and crave. So, yeah, if you guys are able to do that, it'd be great. Um, and top three will get paid out tomorrow. So, you know, a lot of these names that you saw here today, they're fighting for it tomorrow. Already qualified for top eight. We got Super V, we got H0 getting that close 3 2. That was a crazy set. Akudo and damn die and then on loser side choi has advanced real decoy advance we just saw cross advance and last match we got cigar bob versus climax so do it for them do it for your people that is all oh did real, <coughs> did real decoy happen off stream yes it must have yeah who did he fight oh yeah oh wait yeah what the hell was all that about they didn't know i guess Oh, he got decoyed. Or maybe, maybe decoy had to go. Yeah, East Coast hours. Yeah. It'd be like that. East Coast family man hours. Yeah. It looks like uh, Climax and Cigar Bob are in game. and Yeah, we're in there. I'm surprised because uh, I always say Bob, you know, Bob has usually had an early Climax problem, so I'm glad to see his work. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> oh, what's up, decoy? Oh, you had to go? Unless the three zero is the decoy in itself. Okay. I'm going with Sim. No, really, Sim. Nah, get yeah, that ass he... in. <laughs> no, no, Bob Sim is good, and he's been practicing this match with Super V a lot. Okay. okay. By the way, this is a new boxer color thanks to uh, Super V, so um, it's a modification of what Super V's old color was, but uh, slightly changed. Yeah, look at that. People in the community getting their own colors. <laughs> look at that. Anyway. Hiya. I'm glad to see that Super V is helping Bob with his uh, climax problem. So thanks, Super V. <laughs> he just has to adjust to how this boxer plays. Uh -oh. Three piece him? Yeah. Nah, that's, that combo doesn't do enough damage. All right. Yo, he's going to do the cigar bob. I'll tell you the cigar bob. He holds down back and then he throws like a neutral throw or some shit like that that he tried over there. <laughs> he missed a slide. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I think he's going to stick. He really I, think, I think he's going to stick. Yeah. Bob is a proud man. Bob is switching the colors up. We're getting to see uh, more colors. Than, you know, I like this color. Oh, this is dope. My man got the salvage, the salvage ripped up shorts on. Now, soon's got potential for best colors. Yeah. Yeah, you have, you have a lot of freedom with Dalsum since the skin can be modified. Mm. It's kind of crazy color. With the Sim and Blanca, you have the most flexibility. Yeah. Oh, bad drill. This is not a nice drill. Nice mix. Not a drill, folks. Oh, punish that. Oh, yo, if he had super, he would have probably still died. But still, he would have died more classy than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super V, I like this new boxer tone of this version. I think it looks looks better, actually. Ah. Oh, mix. One, two, three. Yep. yep. One, it's going full Maiko yeah. here. I mean, you don't have to worry about the low rush charge. He's losing it every time he's jumping in that corner. 
So you already know the 50-50. You don't have to worry about frame trap. No punish here. Yeah. Dawson has to hold that kind of... Oh, my God. Ah, oh, so much damage. Stop the train. Doesn't Dawson get a free crouching medium kick after block super? Nah, I think only if... Uh... Oh, wait. Does he? No. No, no. I think only in the middle of it. Oh, he does? Post super? I don't know. I don't remember that. Yeah, it's like if it's two frames or something. Yeah, it's two frames. It's insane. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe I didn't chip. Definitely look like chip material. <laughs> Chippendale to the rescue, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> I'm not seeing Climax use um, taps to come in for meter on a knockdown. I'm surprised I didn't see that. This is just a tough place to be. Once you're in the corner against Sim, it's just really easy to get locked in. It's like, Zas, yeah, so you probably remember the Alt SF2 games blog. Right, let's see if he gets a punish. Nope, miss it there. Like you, you remember where um, they used to talk about the Japanese boxer player that was like the boxer master before anyone knew his name? You know this story? Are you kidding? Are you trolling me? I wrote that story. <laughs> so tell us about it. <laughs> Who was it? It was Kurahashi. Yep. Yeah, so basically it was when you were going to Japan back and forth, and anytime you went to the arcade, you saw that he was punishing Doll Sam's limb with like neutral jump fierce or roundhouse. Well, what he was also doing, and this is like known tech now, but I'd, I'd never seen people do rush. So basically, Kurahashi would do rush upper. And then he would on reaction either then like jump back roundhouse, or if he was close enough, then he would do the mix up of either throw or headbutt. And so he would just constantly just like do these rush uppers. And like, I'd never seen that before, and I'd never seen the rush upper into um, you know throw slash low round uh, head, head, headbutt mix up. Yeah, I just remember reading it and uh, seeing. Oh my God, the damage yeah. on that throw was ridiculous. But yeah, just reading it and everyone's like, holy shit, like, who's this master boxer? And then years later, you find out it was Kurahashi the whole yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> you guys used to just call him boxer master or some shit. I, I called him the king of ST, actually. He was yeah. in the arcade every single day. Yeah. Not far from the truth at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I remember I would play his guile and my goal was, it wasn't to win. It was like, can I do 20% of his life total before I die? You know, that was like <laughs> my, my main goal. <laughs> like, Lineplex, I can assure you, Kurahashi's boxer is extremely good. Uh, of course, he played boxer at one point because that dude is hungry to win. He plays all the top tiers. Yeah. But Ryu, he's Ryu. Even though uh, everyone loves his gal, he's really Ryu. Really? To me. He's evil guy. Ryu. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, he's Ryu to me. Yeah. The battle is all. That's definitely his main for the last, as far as I remember. Nice. Oh, not enough. Yeah, yeah not quite enough. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed by Climax. Yeah. But yeah, a, a lot of that tech at the time, I mean, everyone does it now, but it, it was very revolutionary for us naive Americans. You know, we would have to, the level of play, I don't want to say it was low in America, but it was the, we didn't know a lot of the tricks that, that people know today. You know, right. It was much more basic. Play, right? so, like, the skill was there, but, but the techniques were not basic. Like, at the time, if you, you know, if you DP'd the hole in Boxer Super, that was like, God, people were like, oh my God, do you see that? You know? yeah. And now, if you don't do that, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this this is uh, Eugene's custom color. By the way. <clears throat> oh, nice! I like it. Oh, nice rush up in there. Really good use of the headbutts there by uh, Climax to stop the drills. You have to really be on point. It's not easy to headbutt the drills on reaction. Alright, Cigar Bob up, match point. 
It's pretty easy. It's not like DPing them. One. I wish I could just down up. Yeah, the Wolf Brothers also did a write up for this matchup um, because one of them played, you know, Sam, the other played Boxer. So if you read the Tournament of Legends 1 program, you know, mm. they wrote about it from their perspectives. Good stuff. Yes, Still dude. relevant. Wow, no, that he's... jump back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Oh. Wow. I guess he pulls it out and so does not climax early after all. You <laughs> <laughs> waited the whole set to, to follow up with the whole <laughs> <laughs> oh shit well there you have it damn in just under two hours i mean there were a little bit of dqs and stuff and then one match played off stream but we did it guys we got oh, to well, this top eight yeah tap is a key ingredient in that match that really Climax. you need to use it but the crouching mk is such a fantastic normal i understand climax's uh perspective he was able to edge him out nice uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ch check out check out how this top eight shaped out to be. So it's gonna be uh, Super V versus H Zero will be the first one. Akuto versus Dam Die. So this this could be a potential U.S. winners finals, a Mexico winners finals. U.S. versus Mex obviously would be the third one, but I don't know. I don't know who to root for if I'm being completely unbiased. Ooh. Um, all four of these guys have won one Wednesday night fights at least. So. If I had a root for anyone, it'd be root for all of them to lose so we could get a new champ. Otherwise, we got Decoy and Choi on the uh, losers round, and then Cross versus Cigar Bob for the last match. So yeah, if I had a root for anyone here, I'd root for anyone here. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see Decoy progress just because it's fun to see a Blanca. He has his work cut out for him if he's fighting, you know, Choi's Ryu yeah, or Ultigot. Matchup for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, and then. Cross versus Cigar Bob. I mean, I'm assuming it'd be just Shoto versus uh, Zangief. So that's gonna be tough as well for Cross. I feel like a little bit. Yeah, it's scary fighting Bob's Geef as a Shoto. Yeah, I mean, you you're looking a little bit shaky, but definitely there were a lot of scrambles. But I think at the end you picked that up in that low forward Shinku. Yeah, I mean it's a scary fight. There's like there's no way for Ryu to like control it 100. percent Uh, yeah. I mean it's a it's a tough one. It's kind of like. I don't know. Yeah, we were Can't saying it's pretty it. much five. It's pretty much five five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there's some events that I didn't get to show you guys earlier, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick. And also shout out to you, Alex Valle. Thanks again, you know, for doing this whole series for Wednesday Night Fights Online Edition. Definitely, we saw like the growth in a lot of the players this season. Like. Yeah, W uh, WNF has been dope. Yeah, everybody's everybody's a killer. Um, yeah, let me show you guys. There's uh, this Alpha Two thing happening. Um, Damn, j just I just gotta jump in. Did you see Alex didn't give you a like heart three? He gave you a heart two. <laughs> oh damn, it'd be like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I'm boss. Give him a but, <laughs> yeah, heart one. But uh, <laughs> boss is doing a uh, an Alpha Street Fighter Alpha Two event. Uh, at the big one um, next week, but before that, this weekend, we got this event here. Um, let me zoom out a little. Sorry, I'm doing it for my browser, so it's a little crude. But uh, the big one, they're going to be doing an ST event. Um, from what I gathered so far, I think there's going to be like a beginners tournament and then like a higher level person tournament. And I know Kotaka Shilton's going to be there, so I'm going to be doing the commentary for it. Oh, that's fun. Uh, this Friday night. Yeah, it's going to be late Friday night, early, super early Saturday morning for East Coast. So this will be 2 p.m. Japanese time? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Oof, Why I'm is it the Momio, Momio Cup? Is he running it? I don't know. I mean, it's Momio, and then there's Zangief, maybe. I don't have all the info, but I'll chill it more uh, this week um, for, like, the future events. But, yeah, th this is going to be hype because we get to have an offline Japanese ST tournament we haven't oh, nice. had in a while from 2 p.m. is free play boss says and then I, uh, 4 p.m. is the beginners tournament oh and then 5 p.m. will be the what is it something about old characters two on two yeah. 
Yeah, so three ST events total, and of course, there's going to be a Matcherino for it. Um, so you guys can take a look at that, too. Then, whoops, go back, back a step. So tomorrow, again, guys, I appreciate everyone who watched uh, Wednesday Night Fights Online Edition. Tune in tomorrow, 7 p.m. No, 6 p.m., sorry. 6 p.m. Pacific Time uh, on Level Up Live channel to watch the top eight for ST, Alpha 2, and Street Fighter 5. Not the CE that I like, but it's the CE nonetheless. And then this Friday on this stream, as well as Facebook.com slash SLC Mex, we're going to have uh, Super Lucia Cayeta number 26. Um, I don't know, Zas, hopefully you're around for commentary that night. Be like me, Hokuto, Mega Man. <laughs> yeah. Bob's going to have his work cut out for him. F to 7 versus a really good old Sagat. Just and he, he asked for it. But he also has a pocket Dalsim, which he's not going to go with. I'm certain he'll stick it out with Zangief. Yeah, the Dalsim, yeah. Maybe maybe at five losses, he'll switch to Dalsim. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zangief has stuff that he can do against Sagat. It's just not easy. Really? But you can, yeah, yeah you, can beat, you can beat Uppercut with a Splash. Hmm, okay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I mean gonna, yeah. Like a lot of fun to me. I think that'll be, that'll be. So... Super V's Boxer versus Yito's Magneto. Uh, Yito's Magneto. I like that. Yito Magneto. Um, and then... Yeah, and then just uh, some info about this project for Super Lore Boys. Uh, my podcast for ST. We're doing a new campaign that's going to launch a week from now. So if you guys want to check it out, there's a link for it. So you can support. It'll be 20% off for the first... You know 24 hours if you want to support it there'll be more info for it soon but i promise it'll be amazing and i hope everyone enjoys it yeah all righty is anyone still going to be playing or are we calling it for tonight damien Damn. oh i was talking before oops uh no i'm done for the night Okay, bye. No, all right, let's go find someone who can raid. Um, I don't know. I haven't played ST like that. I don't. Uh, I kind of don't want to either. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till we get the snack box and play on that. Yeah, it'll be fun trying to learn that. Yeah. All right. So snack box. Is that a hitbox? Yeah. You know, I I own a hitbox. I've had one for years, and I I'll admit I tried when I first came back to ST after the pandemic. I was like, okay, well. This will be the time to like relearn the game on Hitbox, and it was so frustrating. I mean, I yeah, mean, I, I imagine it will be, but you can play with us when we get ours in like four I weeks. Just, or like something. jumping at the you know, I didn't want to, you know, it's just like it wasn't the special moves that were hard; it was the movement of the character on the screen. Like, yeah, uh, that's so the jump is the bottom button, right? Like your thumb, here. the big one. Take care, fellas. Anyway, we can was... still we can still talk on here. I just rated. Okay. Them. And then you have, uh, and then it's an order.